Braun Strowman was one of the names who was released by WWE last month, Strowman's release came as a major shock to the WWE universe as he seemed to be a WWE lifer, amid speculation of Braun Strowman's future, an interesting detail has popped up, WWE has re-added Braun Strowman's merchandise on WWE Shop, this could only mean that the former Universal Champion may be returning to WWE soon. Braun Strowman is currently serving his 90-day no-compete clause with WWE. It was said that the reason behind Strowman's release was his high-level contract with the company. Here is what Dave Meltzer of One had stated. With Strowman, Adam Scher, 37, who was on a $1.2 million guaranteed deal and had just a few weeks back denigrated all non-WWE wrestling and said he would never work anywhere else, the decision was made because of the feeling he was two years past his peak and he had become obsolete as the roster giant because of Omos on Raw, Commander Aziz on SmackDown, and perhaps Shanky on Raw, being on the main roster who were so much bigger than he is, said Meltzer. Would you like to see Braun Strowman back in WWE? Tell us below. The Rock's daughter Simone Johnson had an amusing message for WWE superstar Indy Hartwell following the events of the latest edition of NXT. Tensions have been brewing lately among members of the way. Things only escalated further backstage after Austin Theory lost his singles match to Kyle O'Reilly. The segment saw Candice LeRae going on a verbal tirade after Johnny Gargano told everyone to calm down. What is happening? What is happening? It has been awful, awful lately. We lost the tag titles. You couldn't beat Cross, and well, I mean, it happened, okay. I'm just trying to be honest. And like, pointing at Austin Theory, why do you keep starting fights with people that maybe you can't beat? I don't understand. This resulted in Indy Hartwell coming up with a confusing, yet hilarious response. Candace, stop. Why are you being so hard on him? You're being so hard on all of us. If he wants to kiss Dexter, let him kiss Dexter. Indy's comment was enough for Candace, who said she's calling a therapist, and added that Indy was projecting. WWE legend The Rock's daughter Simone took to Twitter soon after and posted a tweet telling Hartwell to stop projecting and go to therapy. Indy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis' romantic angle is one of the highlights of WWE NXT each week. Judging by the reaction it's gotten on social media lately, fans are digging into the story. WWE has presented some entertaining and memorable romantic storylines in the past. The Indy Dexter saga can't be compared to those classic angles, but its quirkiness is quickly turning it into a story that fans are going to remember for a long time to come. Do you agree with Simone Johnson and Candice LeRae that Indy Hartwell needs to go to therapy? Share your comments below. The recent speculation surrounding Becky Lynch's return sadly turned out to be a hoax. WWE didn't get the man back at Money in the Bank and the Raw after the pay-per-view. Fans hoping for Becky Lynch to return during the closing stages of Raw were instead given a surprise title change. Nikki A.S.H. successfully cashed in her MITB contract. Vince Russo voiced his displeasure over not seeing Becky Lynch back on WWE TV. During the latest edition of Writing with Russo, the former WWE head writer spoke about how roster shakeups could affect WWE's relationship with its TV networks. Russo addressed the story of networks being unhappy with WWE's recent track record. He also noted how Raw's women's division needs all the help it can get. While Becky Lynch is widely expected to return to Raw, Vince Russo also brought up the possibility of the former women's champion jumping ship to SmackDown to be closer to Seth Rollins. Russo alluded to potential issues between networks wanting particular big-name talents. Becky Lynch is inarguably the most prominent name on the female roster, and WWE is predictably taking its time with such a significant return. The former WWE employee added that USA Network executives wouldn't be pleased if Raw loses Becky Lynch to the blue brand, are they playing it safe? I promise you. They have pissed off these networks more than once, like, I was reading a story today, we've got the big Becky Lynch return, there's the big rating pop, the first thing I'm thinking is, where is she going, obviously, Raw needs all the help it can get, bro, if she goes to Smackdown because Seth is on Smackdown, bro, if I'm a USA executive, I'll be like, are you kidding me, so you know, bro, there are already some issues there, to begin with. Becky Lynch has dropped multiple teasers of her impending return, with all roads potentially leading to a triumphant comeback to Raw. While WWE has a history of pulling off swerves, how would you book Becky Lynch's return to WWE programming? Jolt down your ideas in the comments section. At WWE Money in the Bank, Edge collided with Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship, but he was unsuccessful in his attempt to capture the title. The rated R superstar has now taken to social media and has broken his silence by sending a heartfelt message to the WWE Universe, Edge came close to becoming a 12-time world champion on Sunday night, but his aspirations were derailed after Seth Rollins cost him the title. It is rumored that Rollins will face the WWE Hall of Famer at SummerSlam, 
Edge shared the following message on Instagram in the aftermath of WWE Money in the Bank. What a week. Feel like I got run over by an 18-wheeler carrying elephants, but having all of you back screaming your heads off was the reminder that, for me, this is the best job in the world. And no matter the outcome, just know that when I'm in there, there's no phoning it in. I'll give you everything I have, which is so much easier to do when I can hear all of you. Let's keep moving. Money in the Bank was Edge's first singles match in front of a live audience since he returned to WWE at Royal Rumble last year. After a nine-year absence from in-ring competition, he's still killing it in the ring and he's still a top name in the company. Following Edge's loss to Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank, John Cena made a surprise return to WWE and had a face-off with Reigns. The following night on Raw, Cena challenged him to a match for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. This means that Edge's feud with the Tribal Chief is in the rearview mirror, at least for now, which gives him an open spot at the biggest party of the summer, which could be filled by Seth Rollins. Rollins and the Rated R Superstar are currently on opposing sides which began after the latter was announced as the next challenger for the Universal Championship. Seth Rollins vs Edge is a dream match for most wrestling fans that will most likely become a reality very soon. Former Universal Champion Bray Wyatt has been away from WWE television for over three months now, WWE Universe has been waiting for him to return for a while now, but the latest reports suggest that the wait will have to continue for some more time. According to the latest report by Mike Johnson of PW Insider, there is still no timetable for Bray Wyatt's return to WWE programming. The report added that sources within WWE have remained quiet about Wyatt's circumstances beyond the idea that he's being held off TV for a specific reason. The fiend Bray Wyatt last wrestled at WrestleMania 37 earlier this year where he faced Randy Orton. He lost the match after an unexpected betrayal from Alexa Bliss, who cost him his match against the Viper. An earlier report from PW Insider stated that Wyatt has purposely been kept off WWE television. We are told Wyatt has purposely been kept off TV. It is not a case of he has heat for anything as he is well liked. The Randy Orton match, we are told, went 100% exactly as planned. Bray Wyatt hasn't been very active on Twitter recently as well however, last week he replied to a fan who tweeted how much the WWE Universe misses him, Wyatt wrote that he misses his fans too. It should be noted that last month, WWE was advertising The Fiend to appear on the August 9th episode of Monday Night Raw, this would be a couple of weeks before WWE SummerSlam 2021, there are no updates on that yet, and it is to be seen whether Wyatt returns in time for a SummerSlam match. Comment down and let us know when do you think Bray Wyatt will finally make his WWE return.